Muscle basics. It seems like everyone wants stronger, more toned muscles. But if you're going to talk about how to get those bigger muscles, you first need to understand the basics. It makes you sound smarter. And well, you don't want to be that guy who doesn't know his basic muscle biology, yet likes to give everyone training advice. First, it's important to understand that your muscles not only control every movement you consciously make, but they also control every movement you don't know you're making. That means muscles control the movement of food down your esophagus, they control blood pressure by constricting arteries, and they beat your heart. Based on their function and structure, we divide muscles into three types. Cardiac muscle, which is found in your heart. Smooth muscle, found in places like your stomach, intestines, and blood vessels. And finally, skeletal muscle, which is usually attached to bones. There's 640 of them, and they're the only ones that we can consciously move. They're also what we normally think of when we think of muscles. Now let's look at a typical skeletal muscle. Your biceps. It looks a bit like this. And the actual muscle is the red part. It connects up here to your shoulder via tendons, and down here it connects via tendons to your radius. The work of contracting and shortening is all done right here in this middle part via the muscle cells. And in anyone's biceps, we're talking on the order of a billion muscle cells. Now these muscle cells are packaged within bundles, within bundles, in the larger framework of the muscle, and they're all running lengthwise down the muscle. Now here's the cool part. A single muscle cell, called a muscle fiber, is long. It's also packed full of these long myofibrils. If you were to zoom into a myofibril, you'd see that they're made up of little sections called sarcomeres that have this cool alternating pattern of myofilaments. This is where the real work of your muscle happens. Let's zoom in even further. You have myosin and actin filaments running parallel to each other. The myosin filaments all have these bent extensions on them. With the addition of energy and a signal from the nervous system, they essentially grab onto the actin filaments, bend to pull it along, and then release. With millions and billions of these working together, you're able to lift stuff. Now it's important at this stage to remember that there are two different types of skeletal muscle fibers. They're often referred to as slow twitch and fast twitch. Fast twitch muscles are optimized for short explosive bursts, but they tire quickly. Slow twitch don't have much short-term power, but are really good at endurance. Everyone is born with a certain ratio of these, but depending on how you train, you can optimize your whole muscular system for different sports. The next thing to understand is that muscles grow first by breaking down, then rebuilding the tissue. For muscle breakdown and growth to occur, you must force your muscles to adapt by creating stress that's different than your previous threshold that your body's already adapted to. Now this can be done by lifting heavier weights, continually changing your exercise, and pushing your muscles to fatigue. That's when you feel the burn. After the workout is completed, the most important part begins, which is adequate rest and providing ample fuel to your muscles so they can regenerate and grow. The reason everyone says you need protein has everything to do with the basic biology we talked about. Those myofilaments, both the actin and myosin, are just long chains of proteins. If you don't have enough protein in your body, your body won't start rebuilding and growing those filaments. And that's where the real work is done. It's as simple as that. So there you have it. A few muscle basics so that you can be smarter and more informed when you're trying to build and tone your muscles. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I, I work really hard on them. I'm trying to make sure that I can pass on this basic fundamental sports science knowledge to you. And by the way, we're doing this whole sports science video in tandem with Ortho Carolina. Be sure that you check out the next video. We're heading to the gym with Dr. Majors. And we're going to find out how to train smarter and stay injury free. I mean, it's all physics, right? <laughs>